Welcome everyone. It is a wonderful sunny Saturday here in South Florida and wherever you are, I hope that you are enjoying yourself and you're keeping safe and staying warm. So what I want to do is give you a little insights on how to do the programming lab on Zybooks on sorting a vector. And there's all kinds of ways that you can sort but one of the easiest ways to do it is just a plain vector sort. Now you're going to not be able to sort a vector with the vector over here. You're going to need something else. So I'm going to actually show you the code on how to do that. So let's first take a look at this assignment here. It tells us to define a function name sort vector that takes a vector of integers as a parameter. And we we'll do function sort vector modifies the vector parameters sorting the elements in descending order highest to lowest. So you're going to write a main program that reads a list of integers from input, stores the integers in a vector, that calls sorts vectors, and outputs the sorted vector. So what I'm going to do is show you the simple way to sort, and then you can put that all together. And of course, I hope that if you're having an issue, you're going to let me know. So let's take a look at the input. So you're going to have to put input down here if you want. And the first one is the number of items in the vector. Then you have all of these numbers that you're going to put in. And you can see that it goes 39, 12, blah, blah, blah in descending order. So you're going to hear, see a multitude of ways to do it. But one of the easiest ways to do it is the good old fashioned vector sort. So let me introduce you to that. And one thing I want to show you is this line right here. So when you pass a array, you pass it by default is reference, which means the array is going to be passed by the address and you're going to be able to modify the contents. With an array, it's totally different. Array does not get passed by default by address. It gets passed by value, which means that anything that you do in the array is going to get changed, but anything you do in the vector, it's not going to change unless you pass the address modifier here. So that's what this is. So you see that we have vector. The type is in brackets. Then you have the address modifier, which makes it pass by reference Then my vector. So let's go into Visual Studio that I have here. So I've included vector and algorithm. Algorithm is something that you're going to need. So for simplicity's sake, I'm going to initialize the vector right away and let's put in seven numbers. So to initialize a vector, you use brackets. So let's do one comma 10 comma 17 comma 99 comma 35 and then comma 15. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's add one more. Then we'll do comma. Let's do three. So we're looking good. And of course, we need our line here. So what I want to do here is I'm going to sort the vector. So let me write a function called sort vector. And I'm going to sort it first by ascending. Then I'm going to sort it by descending. So we have a prototype called vector. So, so let's we want to add it vector. And I do not have the light on in my office, so the light doesn't shine on my face and I look like a glowing person. So we want to do vector in and we'll call it sort vector, whatever you want to call it. And it's going to take a vector of type integer. So we want vector. And actually, I did not do this correctly. So let me go back and change it. And I had just done this with another class where I was passing a vector back as a return in a function. So let me fix that real quick. So we are going to put in the address here. And since this is a function prototype, and you do not have to worry about that, I believe, in Zybooks. But this is just good coding. So we need to put in a void here. So that takes care of this. And I'm going to create the function definition. And it's just going to be very simple. 
and let's just call this V numbers. And we're going to do a plain sort. And what do we want to sort? We want to sort V numbers. Where do we want to start? We want to start at the beginning. And how far do we want to go? We want to go all the way to the end. And if I don't put in the last parameter, then what will happen is it will sort ascending. So let's sort the vendor, the vector, and then we'll just display them right in here. So I'm going to use the auto way of doing it. So I'm just going to do auto. So I don't have to worry about what the data type is. And we'll do num here. And this is just a range-based loop. But with vectors, it's called iterators. So we'll do num and we'll do v numbers. And we'll just print them out. So we're going to do c out and num and then in and l. So, so far we're looking good and we have a program that really doesn't do anything. So let's click on, in our main program, let's just do sort. And we call it sort vector. And we have to pass, obviously, the vector. So we have V numbers. And that's all we have to do right here. So we have 1, 10, 7, 99, 35, 15. So let's go and see exactly if that is correct. So before we do this, let's go and print it before. And then we can see the after. So we have them ahead of time. And then let's just do one extra and L. And we're good here. All right, so let's run this program and see if I got it right. So we have 1, 10, 17, 99, 35, 15, and 3. So that looks good. Then we have 1, 3, 10, 35. So that looks good, except that we need to have this sort of descending. So that's really easy. So let's click on here, and we have to tell it to sort it descending. So let's do greater. And so let me explain this for one second before we do anything. Let me delete this first, and let me explain this. If I do not pass an optional third parameter, it's going to sort ascending. But we're going to pass an optional third one to tell it how to sort. So we're going to type in greater. What is going to be greater? It's going to be an int. And then we need parentheses. And if everything is good, we're in good shape. So let's do this before and after. So now it should sort it in descending order. So let us go and see how that works. So we have 110, 17, 99, 35, and 15, and 3. And now we have from the highest to the lowest. Now, I tried it in Zybooks using the vector sort, and it worked. So may not work for you, but it, it worked for me. So let's go back to Zybooks. And if you choose to do it that way, let's go back and take a look what you're going to need to do. So you're going to need to add algorithm up top here. Make sure that you spell it correctly. Otherwise, you'll get a compile error. So algorithm, which I believe is correct. And then you write whatever code that you're going to put in. And then you're going to call the vector sort and make sure that you do it with the descending and then you're going to print it in here and if that works for you that's fantastic if it does not work let me know i'll take a look at your code before you submit it so let's look at two things now when you submit something to me is different than when you go in develop mode develop mode is for zybooks 
they do the grading, the Weber, they do the grading. And as long as they're grading it, I have no control over it. So once you submit something to me, you want a professional program that's going to have how many items are you going to have, and then you're going to put prompts, then you're going to input the vectors however way you want to do it, just like the other ones with the prompts for the miles per gallon and for the item. So here you're going to do the same thing. You're going to write a program as if this was just a plain standalone program. Then you're going to submit that to me, and then that's the one that I look at and I grade. So I want to emphasize the importance. If you have any problem with this, you need to let me know. I usually have Thursday mornings available and often Thursday evenings, depending upon scheduling or kind of training that I'm doing that week. So if you let me know, we can set up a meeting and I can try to help you out. But the important thing is to let me know ahead of time, strictly before you submit something, because once you submit something, it makes it much more difficult. I want you to understand what you're submitting. If you still can't get it right with Zybux and you keep submitting, 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 and Zybux keeps marking you off, then you need to let me know. You can do this as often as you need to in Zybux. And then, but once you submit it to me, that's going to be graded by me. But all than, more than often, I can let you redo it if it doesn't work, if there's an issue. So let me know and I will work something out with you. So that is it. I hope you enjoy this. I hope this works well for you and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day.